It's Centipede Housing Day! So guys, if you saw my Western Invert Show pickups video, you'll know that we got a new centipede in our collection. So today we're going to be rehousing that centipede into this. So here we have the enclosure, guys. So we've got, um, hang on, let's pop the light on for you. It'll be a bit better, wouldn't it? There we are. So we've got our usual substrate. We've got a mixture of cocoa fiber there, plus um, a kind of like mixture that a company made up for me that's used for anything that burrows as well. It's got some good good minerals and bits and bobs in with the with the substrate there. I've got a kind of hide down here. Let me go right down so you can see it's pretty deep down there if it wants to hide in there. We've got a water dish, load of sphagnum moss just mixed up on the front, basically most of it just to make it look pretty and uh, hold a little bit of humidity in there as well. Now I've made this, this enclosure is pretty deep. Now I've done that deliberately so that the centipede cannot escape and climb out because it does have a vented lid. Although the vents are not big enough as far as I'm aware for the centipede to come out of, I'm not making that risk. So we're gonna pop it in. I'm gonna get a catch cup ready, just in case I've miscalculated this. And uh, we'll see what happens, shall we? Okay, so I'm gonna take that water dish out first. We'll pop that in after, just so I've got a bit of space then to pop the enclosure straight in. Now we're going to pop each corner of the side there because you'll see it properly now ready there it is so we'll have a little zoom in there so you can see it properly just chilling out right now and we'll see if we can get it to move into its enclosure so unfortunately i've placed my tripod somewhere funny so i'm trying to do this one-handed I don't recommend doing this guys, um, if you're housing a centipede you need to be prepared from all angles. So I don't want it to run up the tongs either, so we'll try and disturb around it, give it a little nudge tilt it a bit. Try and knock some of the substrate out so it doesn't fall on top of it. There, you can see that they've got some speed to them. It's just not quite going the way I want it to. <laughs> You've got all the space in the world now, buddy, and you want to just uh, hide inside your small little box. <laughs> Typical, isn't it? Let's try and remove some of this substrate into the enclosure and hopefully it will want to go where the substrate is. I think we've got a leg missing here as well. But, seems happy and healthy, there we go. Right, let's get this out of the way. So we don't want it climbing up on this. Got my catch cup ready, just in case it's longer than I thought it was. You gotta be super, super quick with centipedes, guys, if it gets out, because uh, it'll be gone before you know it. Having a good little scout of the area. So guys, unfortunately, I couldn't get any feeding clips for you in this video. I'm really sorry. Um, I have tried. I gave her a few days settling in period. Um, I've tried with uh, both male and female red runner roaches of two different sizes as well. And I've just had to keep taking them out. She's not shown any interest. I did also leave one in overnight to see if she would take to it then because I know a lot of times they'll come out in the evening to do their feeding and nothing. Still just happily wandering around. Um, so yeah, I am sorry about that. I'm gonna try and look for different prey items to try and feed it. Perhaps it's just not into roaches. Anyway guys, I've just took a few little clips as well of her running around the enclosure for you to look at at the end of this video. 
um, and we'll just have to look forward to the future for those feedings. Anyway guys, that's it from me. If you're new to this channel, please check out my other content and if you like it, please subscribe. Hit the like button if you like the video and leave us a comment below. Take care guys, bye bye.